uh, uh, love you, man, from the Mossy Oak family. All right, Jason, <laughs> West Point, Mississippi. That uh, uh, you know, I'm thrilled to be part of the Mossy Oak uh, crowd. Those guys are they're good people. Eh? Uh, Toxie and Cuz, they're there just isn't better people. They stand for all the same values that I stand for. Family, you know, number one. Uh, that uh, they're 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 a great organization and and uh, make a great product on top of everything. Interactive. Somebody, I just missed it there. Oh, here you go, Alex Ortega. What has been your most dangerous hunt up to date? We just happen to have that one, Alex. The uh, that's another question I get asked for often or get asked often is, you know, what's the most dangerous situation I've ever been in? Most dangerous hunt. I think you've. Uh, I think you have it on here. Here you go. This, this was hunting in Tanzania in the Salu area. Now I had to actually think about this a lot because I've been in some dicey situations because of people mostly, animals sometimes. You know, I mean, I've had issues with bears many, many times, but this particular time I think was the closest. We're hunting hippos, trying to get them on land, not in the water. Went through a big patch of brush along the edge of a swamp on the, and we didn't see one. It was quite open. So we went back along the edge of the swamp, between the swamp and those bushes that we just walked through two minutes before. And wa watch carefully what happens as we're walking back. It's rule number one, never walk between the water and the bushes where the hippo is. Here you go, watch it. Jesse just happened to, Jesse Reardon filmed this, he's right here. He, ju he just happened to have the camera going when, when this, there you go, look, at, look, look what came out of the bush at us. Now you can just see in the distance, my PH diving out of the way and me diving across his feet behind him. And, and we'd actually heard, heard the hippo coming, but you don't, you, know, you know it's coming, but you don't know where it's gonna come out exactly. Now you can see I've got my, uh, my, my gun up finally helping, helping my PH out of the mud. It was so close, so close, because you had to stand there and wait for this hippo to come. You didn't know, and then dive out of the way. Here he comes by. You can see better, a little bit better there. There goes my PH down into the mud, and, and I finally got the gun up, but he was already gone by. There was no point in shooting at that point. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, there, there's, it, it's, it's funny after, but I'm telling you that that hippo came by me that you can't tell from the compression here, but it was probably, by the time I got out of the way, it was about 10 feet. Where it was coming through would have been right on top of me. Uh, I was... I was pretty lucky on that particular hunt. Uh, I think we aired that a few years ago.